Hey guys, Oli here. Just wanted to show you the four ways in which you can generate pins with Pin Generator. So a lot of people uh, are unsure of the different options they have, and so I'm here to tell you. Uh, so firstly, you can generate pins from a URL, a sitemap, a Chrome extension, and a CSV. So I'm gonna do each one with you, and we can see how it works. So with the URL, it's pretty straightforward. You can come to pingenerator.com, and you can add an at the URL of any uh, website uh, with any long tail, uh, well, any URL basically, and click generate pins. So it'll go to that website address and it'll pull the, the, the data and the images from that URL and generate pins using that. So let's, let's go to the website. Oh, let's go to this website to see what's being scanned. So 11 cheap places to travel on the US dollar. This is my nomadic Matt, he's got a great blog. And you'll see in Pin Generator, it's gone to that side and it's detected a whole bunch of images. And you can select which images you'd like to use, obviously because some are like uh, from the sidebar or maybe related posts, so perhaps you don't want to use them all. And you can select them all, and you can click done. And, oh, sorry, I've got some strange templates selected here, so let's just Go and select some basic templates so that it all makes sense. And do, do, oh. and let's just check what we've selected. Yeah, that's cool. Cool. So this is what's coming through. And you can shuffle your templates and you can see the kind of pins it's making. So yeah, so it's gone and fetched. Oh, a little pop-up has gone on here. Sorry, let me move this over here. So yeah, so we can see how it's pulled all the data from this URL. Simple, straightforward. Okay, so that's URLs. So next is generating pins from any sitemap. So with the same website, uh, you can go, we can go to the sitemap URL. Uh, you can normally find sitemaps at sitemap.xml or sitemap underscore index.xml. So this one autocorrected to that. So you can see this guy, uh, Nomadic Matt, has got a bunch of uh, sitemaps on a site. One for posts, one for products, cadence, blah, blah, blah. So by default, uh, post sitemap will be used, but let's go to this URL for this post sitemap. And we can see in the sitemap, we've got a whole bunch of URLs and images uh, connected to those. So really simply, we can just simply copy the URL of that sitemap and we can paste it in here and generate pins. And yes, we want to remove those and generate new pins, so let's go. Uh, so now this is gonna to go to that sitemap. It's gonna to go to each of these URLs and it's going to gather the data for each of these URLs. Um, so this allows you to generate a bunch of pins for a variety of URLs rather than just uh, the single paid URL like we did earlier. So you can see here it's got uh, one from the travel blog best cities in Mexico, my one week Costa Rica road trip, etc. So it's a whole bunch of different posts. So if you prefer to do it like that, you can. And in the sidebar here, you can it'll have detected all the URLs in the sitemap. And if there's specific ones you want to do, uh, let's say uh, you want to uh, do Swe all the Sweden ones. Sweden, okay, cool. So we, we can grab these and do a quick scan or a deep scan and just generate pins for those Sweden uh, posts in the sitemap. So yeah, so that's the sitemap scanning. So yeah, you can use any XML uh, sitemap URL. And also one thing to bear in mind is that if you go to the home page of your website, <coughs> what it does automatically is it, when you go to the home page, it looks for a sitemap for you. So and then it uh, will default to the post sitemap and generate pins from that post sitemap. So that's the default functionality, just a little tidbit for you to know. Um, yeah, okay, and that's, that's sitemaps. So the next one is generating pins via the Chrome extension. So why do we have the Chrome extension? Why can't we just uh, scan the URL? So some websites have various security features or uh, different features like lazy image loading, which affects the scanning process. So 
you might encounter some issues, let's say loading or detecting a certain image, images because they're only loaded uh, with JavaScript for some reason at a later date on a timer. Um, or if like, let's say only low resolution thumbnail images are loaded and only when you like uh, hover over the image is the, is the bigger version of the image loaded, the high resolution uh, quality image. So that's something to bear in mind. So the Chrome extension helps solve this issue. So basically the Chrome extension allows you to scan any website within the Chrome browser. And this ensures that the images that are visible in the page that you're browsing can be used to generate pins. So uh, the Chrome extension is here. Let's just go find it in the uh, generator. Pin generator Chrome extension. Let's just go look for this <coughs> in the Chrome web store. It's here. You can simply add it to Chrome here. And basically it shows you what it can do. It grabs the data from the page and it allows you to generate pins from it. So let's do it here. So I've already installed it. And once it's installed, you can see this icon here in your uh, Chrome extension list. And you can see it here. Mine's pinned. Uh, and on any page, you can simply open up the extension, hit scan page. It grabs the description, the title, and the URL from the page. And it detects all the images that are loaded on the page. So then you can select which images you want to use and then generate pins from it. This will redirect you to pin generator and then generate pins from those images that you've selected. <coughs> like that. So yeah, so, so the Chrome extension really helps you to ensure that you're getting high quality images uh, and it's, it's, a, it's a fallback if the scanning process isn't working in this section here. Cool, so that's the Chrome extension. And now lastly, creating pins via a CSV file. So quite simply, you can upload a CSV over here and there's a demo file here to show you how to structure your CSV file. So let's open it up and you can see that it's got title, description, URL, <coughs> URL text, that's the text that's URL text that is shown on the uh, on the pins when you add them. This is the alt text that is used to describe the image and these are various image fields that are URLs of images that you want to be used within the pins. And then you can have some custom text fields here which you can set up in your in your templates. So you can use this custom text in uh, the custom templates that you create, but that's another conversation. So once you have a file like this, format it correctly. So ensure that all the columns are uh, formatted in the exact same way, and they have the exact same title case and uh, names, and that uh, you can add your fields here. You don't have to add all of the fields. You can add uh, as many as you like or om omit any, any that you like. You can even just have like a title field, for instance, and then fill in the other pieces of data on Pin Generator. But uh, let's go, let's download this, uh, this demo file. Save link is, let's download that to the desktop and let's clear our pins. And then you can simply upload your CSV file to pin generator. And we've only got one pin in there, so you'll see it's created that pin. So you can see it's got the, the three images that we linked in the CSV file, the title, the description, the alt text, the outbound URL of, of, the, of the pin, and the URL text. So yeah, so you can do that. You can uh, copy and paste uh, a, number of, a number of different rows. So each row is its own pin. And yeah, you can copy that and paste that as much as you like. <clears throat> One thing to remember is that when saving this as a CSV file, make sure that it's saved as a plain text file. So some people save it as a rich text file and a lot of people like will copy and paste the table from uh, ChatGPT into the CSV. And sometimes there'll be special characters because it's not saved as a uh, plain text file. It's saved as a rich text file. So that's just a, an edge case that you need to know about. Um, but yeah, you can generate stuff from ChatGPT and add it in here or create it uh, yourself manually. And yeah, that's uh, the CSV functionality. So yeah, there's a few ways to generate pins. Um, let me know if you have any questions. And that's it. Thanks. Cheers.